Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to show you how to move from AutoCAD DXF to Google Earth KML, right? Good. So we have um, a sketch here, and then the sketch should be saved in what, or let's say saved as a DXF file. So we are working on a folder called um, CAD to KML. And then you use this drop down, you select them DXF, and you can see that it has been saved right good. So you click on save, and then we have our sketch saved as a DXF file. Then we come back to our, what, our global mapper. The first thing is to set the configuration. Now, um, under the configuration, we come down to projection, and then we now set the projection of the data we want to import. And now, since um, we have used the um, coordinates in um, x y that's actually what um, a projected coordinate reference system and then the zone is um, zone 32 so what do we do we click on the drop down there and then we look out for utm right and that's utm then what is the zone as we said earlier the zone is um, zone 32 north right good so we come and search for zone 32 north so that's it there now these are some of the parameters the scale factor central meridian and the rest of that the the planar unit is actually in meters um, so there is no much um, settings to be done from that so we just um, apply and then we click on ok so we can either open the data file here open the data file here or we come down to file and then we still want to open the data file right good so let's um, use this so we have what the dxl file we have saved that you double click or you click and select open now the reason why you encounter this error is because our autocad is still open right good so we need to come back to autocad and then close it let's now close this up open our data file now we see that it's up right good now we have a caveat or we have a warning here that um, the projection is unknown the projection of this file could not be automatically determined please select the projection slash datum for this file right good so we just click on ok remember we we'll set it to projection as um, utm and then zone to be 32 the datum is um, wgs 1984 right good so meters meters and those are okay so this is the shape we add on what's on autocad right now the next thing is for us to export it as what is for us to export it as what um a kml file right so we come down to file then we go to export then we select what export them um, vector slash m um, lidar format right good now select the export format when you click on this drop down you are going to see different um, formats with which you can export what we need is actually um kml or kmz in what in today's video right good so we click on that and then we click on okay now these are the export options maybe if you want to make a few um, modifications you can make the modifications before you what you export it but let's just leave it that's what default and we click on okay remember if you make any modification you need to apply before you click on okay right good so we just um, give this um, sketch as well the other one is the dxl file and then this is what the kmz file right good so sketch and then we click on save so it has been exported as what a kml file we are going to access google it and then open it up from there right good so we are on google Earth now we go to file and then we click on open good so we navigate to the folder where we've saved what the sketch data then we just double click now you can see that it has been what opened on google Earth, right okay let's um walk on the view good now it seems it's not um, legible so let's work on maybe the color used or something so we right click the feature is somewhere there we come down to properties and then instead of using black let's use red 
and then let's increase the width to about let's say three and see how that goes good so this is what this is the plot right good so we have been able to move from we have been able to move from what from autocad to google it using what global mapper so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope um, we've provided solutions to this um, particular solving problem we are going to see you on our subsequent videos until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye